what was yesterday a busy scene of innocent life is today a twisted and blackened monument to this war's unending cruelty and the scene of its latest atrocity. Among the many dead and injured, dozens are still unaccounted for, lost in this darkness. Ludmila's daughter is missing. The Russians are killing us, she says. This photograph is all she has of Tanya, and she's come to the hospital to search for her. Do you have any hope of finding her alive? She's not on the list of survivors. We went to the morgue, we gave them our DNA, and they told us they don't have her. They don't have her. Her fiancé weeps quietly in the corner. There will be no wedding. But how can there be a funeral without a body? They're breaking our family completely. Everything we have planned through the years, it has all come to nothing. In intensive care lies a young woman who has lost part of her leg. Another has severe blast wounds. There are injuries here that will change lives forever. While survivors count themselves lucky to be able to tell their stories of escape. There was a darkness all around me, a black corridor. I was crawling through it. Everything around me was burning, and I saw the sunlight through a hole. I climbed out and saw a burning car. I was safe. While we are on the wards, the city's sirens sound again. And we move to a basement shelter to sit among the grieving and the fearful. This is not Kremenchuk's first taste of war, but it is the most bitter. In our hospital, doctors are very strong. They all do excellent their works. Uh, we don't afraid because we must survive. We have another choice. You must uh, to save our people, our citizens. Caught on security camera the moment two missiles struck. A huge crater shows one point of impact. Russia claims it targeted arms and ammunition stored at a nearby factory. From what we saw today, they missed. These charred ruins are now being treated by the Ukrainian authorities as a crime scene, a shopping center, far from the front line, reduced to ashes. It seems like an act of wanton destruction, of indiscriminate violence. Three days of mourning have been declared here, though many families will grieve for life. John Ray, News at 10, Kremenchuk.